This is Charlie Flow World Sports Show. I'm joined with Aubrey Bledsoe. Thank you for calling to the show, Aubrey. Yeah, of course, Charlie. So the season, Sky Blue season just wound up. You know, you you've spent your year here playing in, in WSL. You know, what, what do you take from a season like this? You know, unfortunately, Sky Blue doesn't make the playoffs. But what do you take from this season? Um, Obviously not what we hoped for in terms of results, uh, missing out on the playoffs another year. But definitely towards the end, uh, we started really playing well together. And so hopefully we can take what we learned there at the end and, and use that to go towards next season and, and come back uh, better next year. You guys seem like a very tight team that gets along. I mean, there's a lot of pictures of you guys hanging out the beach and stuff. I guess that is the upside of playing, you know, for Sky Blue. You're not too far from the ocean. I mean, how much does that help you as, as a player when you, you go through some of these tough, you know, ups and downs that you have a, a strong team that you can hang out with? Uh, it's definitely helped a lot because, you know, our job is, is to win. And, and when that's not happening, people can get frustrated. And so it's nice to, to be able to have – you know, a team atmosphere that's it's like a family and a great support system. So we kind of, you know, encourage each other, keep our heads up. And, yeah, it's been a lot of fun, you know, now that the Jersey Shore got, got warm and just hanging out at the beach and spending a lot of time together. Yeah, and it was interesting, you guys. You know, you went through your ups and downs, but that kind of that after, you know, the World Cup, you guys really started putting things together and, and you, you know, you had your full roster at your disposal and, has some, some very exciting some games. I mean, I mean, you didn't play in the game against Portland where Brittany Cameron saves the PK from Alex Morgan. Yeah. You know, what was going through your mind watching her her save that and then save the rebound? That was pretty sick, just because you know the initial save the rebound rebound went right to her and she was still on the ground when she could make that second save. So that was just incredible. You know, usually if there was a follow up shot on a PK, there's not much you can do about it, and yeah, I don't know how PKM saved that, but we were fired up watching that one. It was, it was really exciting. So what, what's your history on PKs? You know, how many have you saved in your life? Um, my freshman year at Wake Forest, uh, we actually went into penalty um, kicks with Maryland in the ACC championship, and I saved uh, three in a row, and we ended up winning. So. I, I've done pretty well in PKs, but uh, I'll definitely say some of that's luck. <laughs> is that is that kind of a, I mean, every keeper has their thing. I'm not going to ruin your secrets out there in case, you know, <laughs> scouts are listening or, or other players. But is it for you, for me personally, as I play keeper, I just do a guess. I, I try to look at the body language as they walk up, and then I just set my mind. I'm going right or left, and I just set it, you know, my mind. Yeah. Um, I try uh, to read the body language and and how they approach uh, the ball. But honestly, yeah, uh, it is a bit of luck and kind of just guessing right, yeah. So how did you get into goalkeeping? Because it is a unique position. I, I feel that it's one of those positions that sometimes it's just a kid gets thrown in there or out of desperation or somebody just really just wants to play goalkeeper. Um, that's a good question. I think I just kind of got thrown in there when I was younger. And... Um, I did well, and so I stayed there, and, yeah, I, I enjoyed it. I really liked the field. I think every every goalkeeper actually wants to be, like, a forward and score. Yeah. Be. But, um, yeah, I, I just did well, and so I, I stuck with it. And, and, yeah, I've really come to, to enjoy it and just love the position. Is that the same how you kind of – your twin sister, you know, ended up in goal? Did she follow along with you? Because that's the interesting – you have a twin sister that played, you know, yeah. also in college. Yeah, kind of similar similar pattern, I guess. Um, we would split halves growing up, and then it got to be about that age where only one plays. So she actually went to a different club team, um, so she could play full game as well. But yeah, we were both just good, and we continued to push each other and and grow. Now, after your Wake Forest days, you did go over and play overseas. You played in Norway, I believe. What was that experience, like just playing up there, I mean, probably a little chilly when they start their season. I think they have the, the summer season, kind of like the NWSL. Yeah, um, it was a great experience. I I really enjoyed Norway. The team was great. Uh, it was a little cold. I actually lived in the Arctic Circle. But it was just different, um, different style of play, different culture. It's a great to be around. 
yeah, that style and, and learn from them and, and their strengths and how they play. And it's nice to do some traveling and, and get a different life experience. Now your teammate, Rachel Breton, went up there they maybe the first part of the NWSL season and played up there, and a couple other NWSL uh-huh. players that have played there. And I'm sure that's kind of unique. I, I see pictures in here about, like, in the middle of the summer, just it stays light, you know, almost the entire day. Yeah, it was it was weird. When I first got to Norway, the sun, like, never set. But then um, by the time that I was leaving in November, it was just, like, darkness for, you know, so long. The sun would set probably at, like, 5 o'clock. So it's a different, different culture, well, not culture, um, just, like, different climate. Yeah. I think it's similar to, like, the Pacific Northwest, um, like the Seattle area. Very green. It's just it's a really cool place to be. Now looking forward to Europe, you know, you mentioned that, that you know, you, you may be going over playing Denmark, you know, and playing with Naughty Nadim, you know. Let's well, share some of the details on that. Yeah, so I'm going to um, to Denmark to play for Fortuna Uring. Nadia had to uh, teach me how to pronounce it. Uh, I'm let you. I let you do it for me. <laughs> so. Yeah, right, right. You didn't want to say the two names. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be over there till the end of their season in uh, November, and um, I'm really excited because it's a Champions League team. So uh, I'll get some quality game experience in, and I'll know Nadia, and uh, I'm just really excited to be playing and, and can, continuing to grow in the off season and be ready for. Um, next year. Well, I want to thank you for joining me, Aubrey. I know you've got a, a busy schedule, yeah. and I know that you've got to get over to Europe soon, and, and I appreciate everything you, you do for the game, and also a big shout-out. You know, a lot of people know that you also do coach the game, so that was awesome to, to work with the kids and hopefully making some, some bright stars one day. Yeah, yeah, thank you for having me, Charlie, and everything you do for Skyblue as well. It's been a great season, and I'm going to miss you guys. Hope to, you know, see you soon. Next season, it's going to be a good one. Yeah, you know, the, the upside with the, the technology is there's a lot of European, European players that when they're over there playing that, you know, you were telling me that, you know, you get your internet, you get a computer, you can stay in touch. So that, that's a neat part about going over there. You can still really stay in touch with your family over here. Oh, yeah, for sure. Skype's great. iMessage. So, um, yeah, that's, that's going to be easy. Just the time difference is going to sink a little bit, but I'll yeah. survive. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, Aubrey, and safe travels. Yeah, of course. Enjoy Labor Day weekend. Thank you.